New Living Translation Version of the Tyndale One Year Bible New Testament. January 17th, Matthew chapter 12, verse 1, through Matthew chapter 12, verse 21, starting in Matthew chapter 12, verse 1. At about that time, Jesus was walking through some grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry, so they began breaking off some heads of grain and eating them. But some Pharisees saw them do it and protested, Look, your disciples are breaking the law by harvesting grain on the Sabbath. Jesus said to them, Haven't you read in scriptures what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He went into the house of God, and his companions broke the law by eating the sacred loaves of bread that only the priests are allowed to eat. And haven't you read in the law of Moses that the priests on duty in the temple may work on the Sabbath? I tell you, there is one here who is even greater than the temple. But you would not have condemned my innocent disciples if you knew the meaning of this scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For the Son of Man is Lord, even over the Sabbath. Verse 9. Then Jesus went over to their synagogue, where he noticed a man with a deformed hand. The Pharisees asked Jesus, Does the law permit a person to work by healing on the Sabbath? They were hoping he would say yes, so they could bring charges against him. Verse 11. And he answered, If you had a sheep that fell into a well on the Sabbath, wouldn't you work to pull it out? Of course you would. And how much more valuable is a person than a sheep? Yes, the law permits a person to do good on the Sabbath. Verse 13. Then he said to the man, Hold out your hand. So the man held out his hand, and it was restored, just like the other one. Then the Pharisees called a meeting to plot on how to kill Jesus. But Jesus knew what they were planning, so he left that area, and many people followed him. He healed all the sick among them, but warned them, do not reveal who he was. This fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah concerning him. Verse 18. Look at my servant, whom I have chosen. He is my beloved, who pleases me. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not fight or shout or raise his voice in public. He will not crush the weakest reed or put out a flickering candle. Finally, he will cause justice to be victorious, and his name will be the hope of all the world. Thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and follow. Bless the hearing and the reading of the word. Amen.